Hi there, Trevor here. I'm going to go over how to set up what I like to call a walls server. Basically stands for wake on land shutdown. Typically it's a lightweight Linux server. You set up some startup and shutdown scripts that are run using cron and they start up your systems and shut them down when it's time to shut them down. I'm going to go over how to accomplish this. So let's begin. First, let's start by having a look at the Windows client. So I got my Windows client here. One of the things you're going to want to make sure that you have set up is disabling any power savings on the Ethernet adapter. So you go to the adapter, you right click, go properties, then go to power management and make sure the allow the computer to turn off this device is unchecked. Second, firewall settings. We have to allow the startup and shutdown packets to go through. So for this we want to enable the echo request rule. We, I also like putting in the remote administration rules. and the remote management and remote shutdown rules. Remote service management. And then we have to add a registry entry You need to go to computer, HT, local machine, software, Microsoft Windows, current version policy system. And all this will also be in the blog post. The link for that is in the description below. We want a D word 32 bit value. And we want to put the name local account token filter policy and you want to set the value to one. If you have the value set to zero, won't work. Okay. Now with that done, there is one other thing that you do need. Like I had mentioned earlier, if you have this machine connected to a domain, you could use a domain administrator. If not, you do need a local administrator on the machine. And it does need to be a part of the administrators group. So in this case, I'm using a user called sysadmin. SYS ADM. And you can see that its group membership is an administrator. If you do not have them as an administrator, this will not work. So back to our walls server. The server itself is fairly simple. It uses Samba for initi initiating the remote, the net RPC command. So we have to install Samba. So we'll let this install and then we'll come back after it's finished installing. So Samba has been installed. 
And while we're installing things, we may as well finish up with the other part that the server needs. Uh, because this is a Debian distro, we can install something called Etherwake. Or you can also install NetTools. I'm going to install Etherwake because it is easier. And this won't take any time whatsoever. Okay. Now, some important bits of information here. For doing the shutdown, if you don't have a DNS set up or anything like that, uh, and you're going to use the IP for the shutdown like I'm going to do here, um, you'll obviously need to have the IP address of the machine. With the Etherwake, you will need the MAC address of the system. So I happen to have both here, so let's begin here. So we're going to do shutdown. And for doing that, net RPC shutdown minus I, the IP address of the machine, minus U, capital U, with the sysadmin user percentage, and then the password. And then minus T1, which will force an immediate shutdown, and minus F to force it. The system will shut down. So I've activated the shutdown. We can see on the monitor there that the system is shut, shutting down and it has shut down. So now we're going to wake the system up. Uh, to do that, we're going to go wake on LAN and we have to put in the system's MAC address. And now we'll have a look and see on the monitor. We hit the wake on land, LAN. The packet's been sent. And the monitor has changed color and now we're seeing a BIOS screen. So the system has successfully turned on. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. I hope maybe you'll implement your own walls server in your organization. And if you found this tutorial useful, informative, or you like it, don't forget to click the like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any suggestions for anything you'd like to see done, feel free to shoot me a line. So until next time.